Okay, so I'm going to vlog with the EM10 Mark II. It's a bit of a challenge, but let's see um, the pros and the cons about vlogging with the EM10 Mark II. For one thing, stability is pretty good. <laughs> In body stabilization is unreal. Hey, Jerry. Huh? Yeah. You're waiting for me. Okay, so this is at arm's length now with the EM10 Mark II with the kit lens, the 14 to 42 kit lens. Now, it doesn't have a flippy screen, it doesn't have a mic jack, so <laughs> why the hell would anyone want to vlog with this? <laughs> but, you know, if you're out and photographing on a photo walk, uh, you can get by with it. It's not the best, uh, mainly because of the sound, really. But on a nice, uh, crisp uh, morning with no wind and no traffic, uh, you know, at, like at, at the park, maybe, you can get away with it. I mean, this is pretty good. The sound's all right. Uh, you can get away with it. Except for the bloody planes. And then you can twist it around and just take Jerry. <laughs> Hey Jerry, you always want to be on the camera. Hmm? You bloody limelight hog. Now, the only thing is, I don't know if I'm in frame. Let me check actually, <laughs> before I start yabbering on. I'll check on the back, I'll do a replay. Now the stabilisation is pretty good too. I've put it on image and sensor stabilisation. So... As you can see, I'm just hand holding it. Now, I checked the back of the screen and yeah, it's a bit tight on the uh, old um, noggin. On the, and you know, no one wants to see my big head uh, splashed on the screen so close. But that's the what you get with the 14 millimeter. If you want to go uh, wider, you'll need the wider millimeter lenses, but they're expensive. This is just a kit lens and this will do. Um, rather than get the wider, um, unless you really need the um, wider lens, like the seven millimeter, or the I don't know what the other one is, twelve millimeter. Even twelve's a bit tight. Jerry, your waist scratching. Is to um, yeah get the wider lens. There the, but I mean the kit lens, fourteen millimeter is wide enough. And if you want to be a real tight ass. Just get a selfie stick. <laughs> yeah, so that's really tight. I mean, it's not bad. You can get what you want. Um, the only thing is the sound's pretty far away from the microphone, so I might have to boost that up in post-processing and then you get a bit crackly and the, the amps. Jerry! <laughs> Jerry's Jerry found a new friend. So yeah, it's the sound is the main thing. Let's switch to another um, a solution. All right, so I'm gonna put this little selfie stick on there like that. That should be all right. All right, so that's pretty far out. <laughs> now what I did, uh, audio, I'm gonna be so far away from the mic and if it's windy too, you really do need a solution for sound. Hey Jerry, so uh, the onboard sound alone, you can get away with it when it's not windy, but it's not the best. So just get yourself uh, a lovely air mic. Uh, now you can't put it on the EM10 Mark II because there's no bloody phone jack, I, mic jack. So you've got to use an external source of sound, unfortunately. So, I mean, if you want to stop the video now, just go buy yourself an EM5 Mark II. <laughs> it's the same price these days, and it's got the mic jack, and it's a better camera anyway. So, but, um, EM10 is still good, so let's not give up on the EM10. <laughs> hey, Jerry, it's my favourite. Yes, it's your favourite too. So, what I've been doing, I've just been using my phone with a little wireless there 
nothing too flash. You can get other um, microphone solutions. Um, the one that I use is this one here, uh, but it's a bit expensive, so it's a bit overkill really. Uh, but that's the best. That's a 32-bit floating microphone. Hey, eh, Jerry? Mm? Do you understand? Um, anyway, buy that if you really want to get serious. But this is just this cost me $14. <laughs> Plug it into your iPhone, whatever your phone, your Android, and then $14. You can't go wrong. But then you got to post mix it. You got to post edit it and add the sound later to your video. Okay, so this is the solution like that, and me walking around. You see? I'll show you. Like that. <laughs> Obviously, you'll only be doing this. <laughs> Obviously, you'll only be doing this. And that's the solution. So let's go for a walk. And that's the solution. So let's go for a walk. Where am I looking? All right, so uh, this is the stability. So like I said, it's the best stability, the sensor and the in-body together. And I'm using 60 frames per second on 1080p. This thing doesn't go to 4K. Um, I think you can, but it's on, I don't know, it's one of the settings there. So full high def, 60p uh, frames per second, full high def, super fine. This is 1080p. Hey, Jerry and continuous autofocus and that's it and i'll put it on p mode so p mode is the easiest setting you don't have to muck around with um, aperture or shutter speed the p mode will do it for you p mode will do it for you so i've just come into low light and you've got to be on auto iso as well so because i just came into low light here now if i was on manual mode uh it would have like gone crazy um, because the light just disappeared. So, P mode's the easiest. Hey Jerry, P mode. I always use P mode. 180 degree rule, 24 frames per second, cinematic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which, it does look better, but if you just want to blog, or vlog, and just do, to, to, to put it in P mode, and, and Bob's your uncle. Hey Jerry, Bob. Do you know Bob? Yeah, so that's simple. Geez, my arm's getting sore. Jerry! There you go. I've got Jerry and Rob Cam side by side. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, vlogging 101 with the EM10 Mark II. Thank you very much. Hey, Jerry. Uh, I'll, I'll hand it over to Jerry now and she can talk about all the technical things about um, what you need to set up on the menu. All right, Jerry, it's all yours. It's also um, good for B roll because of the stability, is really good with Olympus. You can get some awesome B roll as well. Uh, what I've been finding to do is to take a leaf out of Craig Roberts's videos and just do let the scene do the talking I think what they say if you move your camera around a lot it's just jarring and looks shit so with b-roll just let the camera do let the scene so what I'm saying is do a still scene and just like a like that keep it steady and just let the scene do the talking <laughs> rather than me panning or unless you want to do a pan shot but I find um, I want to do these more with, with my vlogs with my b-roll I just want to get still shots instead of like you know doing this in all my bloody videos just do this just keep it still and steady like tripod shots really and let the scene do all the talking like the people playing basketball and you know soccer and the, the city in the background and
and then a five second clip of Jerry running past, set the scene. I think that's how they make movies. Because on movies, it's very rare that you, you see um, movement. I guess you've got to use all those train track, dolly, folly, sholly things. But, um, yeah, unless you're watching Blair Witch. <laughs> With that, that, remember that? That introduced the whole steady cam shit, the whole handy cam generation of, that was the beginning of YouTube. The old uh, Blair Witch, you know it wasn't real. <laughs> it was all made up. Jerry. And of course, if you want to get the ultimate, put it on a, something sturdy on a tripod or on the ground and get that epic shot. And hopefully something moves in the background. Oh, there you go, Look, there's a car. And that's scene cut, cut uh, scene two, epic um, B-roll, episode one, and that's a wrap. <laughs> Jerry, what the hell am I talking about? All right, this is at 42 millimeters. And I'm trying to be as steady as I can with my hand. Because remember, the more you zoom in, the more shaky it gets. Everyone knows that, Jerry. So please just stop. Stop ruining slow motion for me. Jerry, you see the big doggy? Yes, the big Cujo, Jerry. You gotta be careful. You know what's not epic? You walking down a hill slowly. My grandfather does that. Nobody cares. This is not an epic moment in your life. Another trick is to use your strap, your neck strap, and pull it tight around your neck, and that gives you stability. Hey, Jerry, even moving backwards. So, the cinema was ours, Jerry. It's B roll extravaganza. See all those? They're not leaves. <laughs> They're bats. My God, they're everywhere, Jerry. It's Alfred Hitchcock, Jerry. Alfred Hitchcock and the bats. You can change the zoom speed, which gives you more kind of, you know, that film, you know, cinematic, rather than just like a, it looks like a handy cam. If you zoom in slowly, it gives you more professional feel to the video. Whoa, see that one. I'm getting scared now, Jerry. What if we get bitten? Jerry, wait. Be careful. Go. Good girl. Jerry, look, kookaburra. Take a photo, Jerry. Kookaburra. There's Sydney. And there's Parramatta. <laughs> one of the only spots where you can get both in one shot. And now I've got a kookaburra here. Hey, Jerry. We'll take a photo of the kookaburra. All right. Better do it before he runs away. When it goes wrong, it goes really bad. When it goes right, you never know what's gonna happen. That's the fun of life. 
You just go with the flow. Where's the wind gonna take us today? You know what I mean? So get creative with it. And stop showing your footsteps. It's not magic. You're walking. I learned that when I was seven years old. Yeah, I was a late bloomer. So you gonna hold that against me? <laughs>